Hey all, it's Nate Robinson. Uh, just wanting to touch base with you. I uh, had some really good information I wanted to pass along. Um, from time to time I uh, have to, you know, I go over things just to make sure that all of my buyers and sellers are well prepared to handle the market and deal with things in the market. Um, today I want to talk to the buyer specifically because uh, I have some information I think that's really going to affect you. Um, and I want to talk about the cost of owning a home versus the price and the the huge difference between the two of them. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, okay? Okay, right now mortgage rates, 30-year um, fixed rates are you know at all-time lows. As we can see from January of 2011 till today, rates have gone from 5%, you know, started at 4.75 and gotten up to like 5 and an eighth, all the way down to right now they're sitting at about 3 and a quarter, somewhere between 3 and a quarter and 3 and a half. Um, they're at all-time lows. They haven't really been in this place in, since I can't even know when they've ever been this low. Um, so I would almost want to say since the beginning of when things were recorded, um, we're sitting at all-time lows. And, you know, I want to talk to you about what the expectations are with interest rates as well as the, the prices of homes. Um, right now we're going to look at a little slide and basically showing that after reaching record lows in 2012 mortgage rates are expected to creep up slowly in the year ahead the mortgage bankers associations predict that by the end of 2012 that's december of 2012 <clears throat> fourth quarter they expect interest rates to go up to about 3.8 percent first quarter by the end of the first quarter of 2013 they expect interest rates to be at 3.9 and by the end of fourth quarter 2013, December of 2013, they expect interest rates to be at 4.4%. You know, basically, we can't stay where we are. And the reason that we were as low as we, as we have been is because of the economic status of not only our country, but around the world. And now that the elections are over, the president's going to stay in place, you know, things are going to have to start to change. And so you can expect interest rates to start to creep back up. How does that affect you? Well, based off of that information, I want to show you what some interest rates and payments will look like. If you had a typical home in, in San Diego and it was at least $400,000, if you had a 3.5% interest rate on a property, you know, you're looking at a monthly payment for principal and interest of $1,796. You can do these calculations yourself. Um, if you wait till next year, that same home is going to have an interest rate of about two thousand at four and a half percent. The payment's going to be twenty twenty seven. That's a huge difference. Um, now I want to talk about home prices, all right? And I got three different economists up here that have um, put up the expectations. One's from Home Price Expectation. The other one's the National Association of Business Economists and the Wall Street Journal Economy Survey. Okay, between the three of them, on the low side. 2.44% is the expectation of the price increase on the homes from now until next year. 2.8% um, from the National Association of Businesses, <clears throat> of Business Economists, and three and a quarter from Wall Street Journal. So prices, let's just say that we're dealing with the low end of the spectrum, that 2.4%, okay? If you were to purchase a home today, we already mentioned that it would be $17.96. Next year, with the price increasing by 2.44%, that's the difference between this 400000 and the 409760 um, And the interest rate increasing just merely almost a point, you know, I did that 4.4%. The difference in payment is going to be $255.76. That's a lot of butter. That's a lot of butter. Uh, and, and for me, uh, if you looked at that price point and, and you you know you spread that over the cost of a year that's three thousand sixty nine dollars and twelve cents and the life of the loan you hit a ninety two thousand dollar price point ninety two thousand dollars is the difference between them whether you buy it now or you wait till next year if you get a home that's higher than four hundred thousand these numbers just grow basically <clears throat> proportionately to those numbers so you know waiting in and of itself can be, be very costly and uh, I really want to get that information out to you. So now we're going to switch over to this one last slide, which is the Standard & Poor's, the Case-Shiller price, Home Price Indices. And we're looking at year-over-year -year changes. 
And you can see steadily from January all the way up until August of this year, the home price changes year over year have decreased in January. It went down to 3.9%, February 3.5%, March 2.5%, it went down a little bit more, April a little bit more, and in May it was only down half a percent from the year before. But in June of this year, 2012, home price changes year over year were up half a percent, 0.6%. In July, it went up 1.1%. And in August, year-over-year -year price changes had been at 2%. So you can see we clearly, if someone wasn't sure if we hit rock bottom, we hit rock bottom, and the market started to turn somewhere between May and June of this year. So yeah, you're going to see prices start to increase slowly. You're going to see interest rates start to increase slowly. But as they start to increase, it really does affect the bottom line. So I just want to get this information out there. I, I don't want any of you guys uh, making decisions that are uninformed. The more information you have, the better off you are. And, you know, like I always say, I want to make sure I keep you guys all current because keeping current really does matter. This is Nathan Robinson signing off with Allison James Estates and Homes. You have a great day.